Um, gives me great pleasure to welcome our speaker tonight, James Muir from Tauranga Marriage Ministry. Uh, a little bit about James is he's a father of three married daughters and also known as Papa James to four grandkids. Formerly Missions Director at Faith Bible College and Asian Outreach New Zealand and founder of Prison Fellowship in the Bay of Plenty. Uh, founder also of Tauranga Marriages Ministry, organizer of Marriage Week New Zealand, which we are in now, and um, also uh, a Bay of Plenty advocate for New Zealand Christian Network. So very busy and lovely to have you. A big welcome to you, James. I know the topic of marriages is something very dear to you. You're very passionate about it. And so I'm going to hand over to you uh, to share some free points for us tonight. Thank you, James. Thank you, Jackie. It's good to be here. Um, and I'm a little surprised but delighted to, to be able to speak to this issue, which is very important to me. Just briefly, um, I'm from a family of nine children. My parents were married for 70 years. They raised um, nine fairly healthy, sane children. But six of us have been through divorce, the pain of divorce, including myself. So I, it's, it's personal for me. In 94, I became a marriage celebrant and began to research the marriage and divorce in our city and beyond. And I've done that for 20 years, seeing what's going on. Um, and it stirred me in 2009 to begin to research after I retired from other areas to marriage ministry. And what I saw stirred me and provoked me. And let me just give you some figures for 2019 marriages uh, and, and divorces. And this is a, a progression. There's a final figure I want you to see. Uh, in 2019, there were 19,071 weddings. Of those, 13,788 are first time weddings. So the rest are second or third time, 8,391 divorces, and 6,200 children under 17 affected. So over 10 years, that's 60 or 70,000 children impacted by the separation of, of the, the mum and dad. These things provoke me, as well as 15 years of prison ministry, seeing the brokenness in our society. Um, you all have heard uh, back on the 6th of April, Stuart Lang brought a message his concern about the state of the church and our nation, and it's reflected, it's reflected. So my focus to us tonight in prayer was that the church needs, I think, up its game in providing biblical teaching on covenant relationships, uh, that Christ ought to be uh, Christ-centered, uh, marriages ought to be Christ-centered, and couples I've met many couples who, who are Christians who've never really learned to pray together. They pray, but never pray together, or seldom pray together. And I believe it's a, it's a weakness for them and for their family. I work in, in partnership with uh, uh, the Marriage Course. Oh, here we are now. With the Marriage Course, with Family Life New Zealand, also for Pure and Rich, to help me and help others have tools to serve our community. So I believe there's a call for repentance. Uh, I, I see too many couples who marry and remarry, but without a call to repentance for their past failures. I just believe that's something God is calling me to and calling others to. Uh, we need to work together to serve our communities, offering pre-marriage counsel and low-cost weddings. I believe if, if my community in Tauranga, other communities could serve together rather than independently, we can be much more effective. So I think if church leaders could explore ways to help strengthen marriages, hosting annual marriage courses, and committing and prayer together as a community of churches for, their, for the people there. Um, and, and to function as the body of Christ for their community. Before the lockdown, COVID lockdown, I wrote to our mayor and councils in Tarong, explaining we are praying for them. On last weekend, I wrote to them again, saying it's marriage week, we're praying for marriages and families, that's what the Church of Tarot has committed to. So my hope would be that the church across New Zealand, as Marriage Week grows, and now in September, not in February, year by year, we might see a greater cooperation across the nation and across the communities, across the cities, to put marriage at a higher, higher profile than it, than it is today. That the, that the world would know that we are committed to their purpose 
their success in marriage and family life. That's my message. Uh, kia ora koutou. Uh, thank you so much, James. I think those statistics just come home again. I'm thinking especially of the children. But as we come before you, Lord, we just um, want to be those who stand in the gap. And we ask you, especially this uh, week of marriage uh, focus, Lord, that you would uh, bring your people into a, 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 a deep uh, holiness and commitment and joy over covenant relationship with you in marriage. Lord, this is a wonderful thing that the body of Christ has to offer. Lord, this represents, the, a marriage represents uh, the relationship of Jesus with his bride. Mm. And so, Lord, we ask you for a wonderful work in, uh, in every marriage. Lord, we pray for marriages that are doing well, that, Lord, that you would bring them into uh, greater levels of, of commitment and love. Lord, we pray that there would be biblical modeling and teaching within the church, Lord, and in creative ways of doing that. We thank you for all of the different programs and for all of those churches who are taking this up. Lord, would you breathe on those? And Lord, would you just fill your people with great joy in, in marriage? Lord, this is something we really can celebrate. And uh, Lord, we ask you too for the gift, your good, that your goodness would lead to repentance. And Lord, that your people, Lord, I, I know in my own heart, you've just been uh, causing me to stand in the gap and just repent uh, in an identificational way. And we just say, Lord, that we and our fathers have sinned and, and just fallen short in areas of marriage and areas of immorality and, and um, uh, affairs that outside of marriage and so Lord we ask you just to have mercy on us to lead us in prayer and Lord just to release a, a holiness a fire of your spirit and a, a creativity within your body that will, would cause us just to have uh, great love and uh, innovative uh, programs uh, that, that in, in reaching out to uh, families and marriages within our community. We just uh, thank you for these things in Jesus' name.